Telltale series. If you watch the my discussion on my channel, you would see that this is going to be happening. Guys, we're going to be doing Telltale series. Guys, I hope you enjoy. And it's Christmas Eve today. Today I'm recording. And tomorrow I might not be. I'm probably. I'll be posting something tomorrow. It's Christmas Day. I'll be getting a lot of new stuff. So expect that. Oh, got full experience. Get Telltale contacts. New feature. Join. Let's join. You guys already know my. out here before anyone can stop us. Okay, that's 
inside these bins. It's not that much, but. One of the cops want him dead. Hey, you ever seen him? Yeah, Gotham Zoo. With all the other flying animals. I know you're trying to create a myth, but be careful you don't turn into a monster. Oh. Sometimes you need a monster. Oh, come on! Come on! Come on! <laughs>
mother teach you to knock? Behind you, big boy. you're succeeding. The criminals are becoming afraid of you, so are the police. It's a scare tactic, Al. Just a performance. You broke the law. Here I am. <laughs> Cut the shit. The law. Oh. Don't tell me that's why you do all this. Squeeze into a suit. Tie on a cape. No Most can people dress up like that. Needs to the ice, needs to Gotham needs a hero. Someone to hunt down people like you. So that makes me what? A villain? Sounds fun. Gotta admit it though. You give a good chase. One day you might actually catch me. Tonight. Don't you know not to corner a wild animal? It's dangerous. And let's put you in a cage. Bring it, Bat. It's over. I wouldn't be so sure. I go to all that trouble for this. Shit. A myth can't be killed. You, however, are flesh and blood. God damn it! I said don't shoot! No! Wait!
course I was you catching me. Not sure if it was for my sake or yours. <laughs> Don't struggle or you'll fall. Oh, but that's what you crave. The struggle. I know men like you. Oh. Bye, Bat. <laughs> Step out of the shadows and be Bruce Wayne tonight. Oh, that's a much harder fight. Don't let tombstones be your family legacy. Well then. Time to save the city. district attorney like myself is not used to such a ringing endorsement. Even one who cut Gotham's crime rate in half. But for too long, this city has burned with corruption and greed under Mayor Hill's authority. But I promise you, a vote for Harvey Dent is a vote to finally put your foot down. Together, we can stamp out the fire and save our great city. Only Mr. Wayne, my campaign's largest backer, could have heard that applause. He would sh Well, there he is. Fashionable and fashionably late, as always. Say hi, Bruce. Hi, Bruce. Welcome to Wayne Manor. Enjoy my wine. It's expensive. Enjoy drinking my wine. It's worth more than most of it. Oh, <laughs> no, he's, he's kidding, everyone. <laughs> no wine is that expensive. Thank you. Thank you again, everyone, for your unwavering support. Together, we will change Gotham. I, I, everything I could have said was offensive. Mr. Wayne, thank you for opening your house to us. Now, I know this is the biggest mansion in Gotham, but I don't think you got lost on your way here. <laughs> Where were you? I know you prefer the brooding billionaire angle. So the sooner we make nice with the donors, the sooner everyone will leave you alone. Relax, it was important. Not more than this. I know you despise these things, and truth be told, I do too. What, a chance to show off your teeth and talk about yourself to a room full of money? Say it ain't so. It's called playing the game, Bruce. And tonight, if you hadn't noticed, I'm playing for City Hall. No one came here tonight to see me. I want to see the Bruce Wayne, am I right? <laughs> And I can see him just fine from here. This shouldn't be painful. It's not a kidney stone. It's only a little face time with potential donors. Your face, specifically, with a mouth that's saying, Support Harvey Dent. Where the grease, they're the wheels. And they're rolling in enough cash and votes to help make Gotham a place for families again. Ah, a little liquid courage before facing your adoring public? This'll help you too, Bruce. Once I've turned this city around as mayor, you'll be a hero for funding my campaign. Now all I need is a decent slogan. I'm terrible at those. It always makes me sound like a used car salesman. Which, for the record, for I have not Gotham. been since before law school. All right, all right, all right. How about, uh, a new face for Gotham? Look at you. It's not half bad. I'm gonna use that. Bruce, I meant what I said. Together, you and me, we change Gotham. A city free from crime, where children can play in the streets again. That's what I want too, Harvey, but you know how rough it is out there. We have to shake things up to make that happen. Well, we can start with a few hands, hmm? Come on. to introduce you to Bob and Regina Zellerbach. Of course I know these two. Hello, Bruce. Regina here is the chairwoman of Wayne Enterprises, and her husband voted for Mayor Hill last time. I'll admit it, Mr. Wayne. I don't know Mr. Dent from a pothole on Main Street, 
but I trust your family. If you believe in Dent, we believe in you. After all, whoever you support is a reflection on you. And we trust someone like you to lead this city to greatness. Well, thank you. But we're all here tonight because we want to make a difference. And that's what it's going to take. Every single one of us. Not just me, not just Mr. Dent. Everyone. Right, right. Of course. Old families like ours should flock together, you know. Like birds. You're preaching, dear. No, it's true. The Waynes and Zellerbachs are reminders of the golden age of Gotham. Oh, this city's luster faded years ago, Mr. Dent. Oh, Look at Gotham now. Murder in the streets, corruption in City Hall, that Cape Bat Freak dealing out vigilante justice like it's the wild goddamn West. Oh, Bobby, regarding Golden Age, seems you're getting cranky in yours. There's always hope. Forgive me for being blunt, but one man can't save this city. And it's a dangerous mentality to think so. That's how you get creeps like this Batman. Well, I have to say I side with your wife on this, Mr. Zellerbach. Even a spark of hope can light the darkness. Oh, an idealist with a bank account. He'll be broke before election day. <laughs> and I know Bruce would gladly spend every penny he has to fix this city. I don't doubt that for a moment. And don't worry, though. I am not doing this alone. Pause. I know Batman is like Spider-Man. They don't let anybody know their true identity. Now, if some of the Avengers... Uh, DC can't, does yeah, anybody can know who they actually truly are? I don't know what about, but I do understand why they're doing this because if people knew that Batman was Bruce Wayne, they were all going after Bruce Wayne in his day to day life. As they were Spider Man, if they knew he was uh, Peter Parker, they would all go after him. So I just want to tell that about you. Spoiler, I guess. And I should have that earlier, but still, if you're the justice Batman, I don't really watch Batman. I'm more of a Marvel fan, like I said earlier in the video. And DC is okay. DC is okay. Just don't watch Batman for Superman. Please don't. I fell asleep. With Bruce's help, we're replacing the dangerously unsecure Arkham Asylum with a state-of-the-art mental health facility to help Gotham's most at-risk individuals. It will be dedicated to Thomas and Martha Wayne in the hopes that their fate will never be repeated. After all your parents did for this city, oh. To be killed in a botched robbery in some alleyway. It was terrible. Truly terrible. Yeah, a tragedy like that at such a young age. It must have been crippling. If only that uh, deranged you man had me? gotten they the right treatment, that maybe... Uh, I'm gonna say what you probably Well, me. I don't like to think about maybes. And I'm sure you don't either. Well, Harvey is the one who's been behind the project since day one. A vote for him is a vote for the memory of my parents. You'll have it. Thank you. And thank you both. And how long that Not saying I doubted you, but that went better than expected. It is a night of ringing endorsements. Dent, Gotham's next mayor, and eager to know you. Vicki Vale, not interested, and reporter for the Gotham Gazette. This is a private fundraiser, Miss Vale. No reporters allowed. Well, you don't mind if I stay and ask a few questions, do you, Mr. Wayne? Well, you can ask me whatever you want at the press conference tomorrow. No, no, it's all right. You can stay. Thanks. Bruce? This is quite the social event, Mr. Wayne. Oh, come on now, so formal. Call me Bruce. Well, Bruce, you've been going around pleasing everyone tonight. But how are you doing? You should enjoy your own party. Everyone loves Before that. all the champagne not, runs out. Better now that you're here. Politics Just between me, us. Man. Politics bore the hell out of me. Too many words. Not enough action. Didn't think you were the type to get his hands dirty. Oh, you'd be surprised. Mr. Wayne, you've, you've got something on your collar. Um, is that blood? Yeah. Spilled some wine. It, it'll come out. And stick to clear alcohols, Bruce. They never stink.
Do excuse me, Master Bruce, but uh, another guest has arrived. I'm sure they'll find the bar. You may want to greet this one personally, sir. Carmine Falcone? Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Falcone's never been convicted of anything. Analysts say we're raising triple with Mayor Hill. Hey, what's private audience? Oh, come on, guys. Bruce, you'll be fine out there, Harvey. I saw plenty of skirts to keep you busy for a few minutes. Harvey stays with us. A man's home is his castle. I respect that. Seen and not heard. Whatever ah, you. Ah, what did I say? Mr. District Attorney here wants to make sure the rules are followed. But in my experience, there's the law, and there's doing what's right. You understand? And I'd rather see Harvey actually help this city instead of just say he will. Unlike most people I've met, Harvey actually has integrity. He's trying to make Gotham a better place. So am I. So are you. Hey, we all carry this city on our broken backs. Might lighten the load if we do so together. I ain't here to chinwag about politics, Mr. Wayne. Gives me indigestion. I got enough of that as is. But the food is down. So, let's talk relationship. Chalk this for me. Be a pal. Okay, imagine, this is me, and these are all my friends in God. Okay. The businesses, restaurants, clubs, do docks, that. unions, politicians. I don't think my audio is off. My audio is not. I just say we. I've got to physically saying this is not for me. I make them all move, and I want to keep everything moving if Harvey gets elected. That's why I came here tonight to your lovely home, hoping to make a new friend. One who can help Mr. Dent see the light, if need be. Look, I'm only talking to you yeah. because Harvey asked, trusting a friend to know what's best for Gotham. Now that's a predicament. You listen to me, kid. I know somewhere inside that tuxedo you understand this situation. Money gets money. 
The risks, the alliances, the hidden costs. Your father knew which hands to shake. Is it the boy version of Karen? And which to break. Don't you dare talk about my father. You're getting worked up over nothing. <laughs> Hell, I knew him longer than you did. People don't say no to me. Not for long. Master Bruce, your guests are leaving. I recommend seeing them out. You wouldn't want to be rude. Heed your butler's advice, kid. Oh, and I'm no longer interested in buying the house. The owner's a prick. And he's gonna get what's coming to him. It's me. See what she was really after. Trace elements in a confined space. Can deliver a jolt or knock out electricity in the area. I suppose that Catwoman would have preferred the latter. I should see if I can refine the edge. It could be sharper. Well, the test run at the mayor's office was a success. Spare grapple. Can't believe I let her take that. Causing traffic to back up for miles as the cops cut him down. Random stabbings are the latest headache for the riders of Gotham's overcrowded sky rail cars to contend with. And I took a high. Nearly fell off a building for this. Lenses, voice modulation. Wayne Enterprises really outdid themselves with this version.
the dam pressure, the dam pressure is made to, to decry, uh, decry by vigilance by Wilson E. Gotham struck district attorney Harvey Dent called upon the mayor's office to take a public stand against the wave of vigilance across the street. The street mayor Hill could not expect the, the DA's office to prosecute cases on the question of the law. Said Dent, uh, said Dent uh, at the city hall press conference, Dent has taken a, a firm stand against vigilance in Gotham. Up from the uptick in the sixth of letter shooting to the costumes of the old Batman. With legislation that would have dismantled organized crime in the city, he vetoed it, killing Gotham's okay, chief uh, for a safer future. I'm going to tell you all this. Maybe that's because the rumors of Hill's connections to some of Gotham's most notorious mafia families are true. Thomas and Martha Wayne. We don't need another gangster running the city. We need My parents' a dad was a physician, mom was a philosophist. With over two hundred successful convictions, District Attorney Harvey Dent just might be the hero Gotham needs. But he can't save our city alone. Murder, 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 and elect a real Wait crime fighter to Gotham's mayoral scene. Ever helping Alfred has been a part of my message. whole life. He raised me when my parents were murdered and guided me when I thought I was lost. He's, he's my butler, but my confident, my confident, and the most secret weapon in my arsenal. He complains easily about my nightly activities, but he's still there to patch up me up when I need it. Harvey Dent. Gotham City District Attorney Mayor, Mayor Candidate, a new friend is the best district attorney Gotham has ever seen in years. His, politics, his political ambitions have always been a big, as big as he is ego, and now he's hoping to become a, a mayor. He's got so many great ideas for how to save the city. I think he'll be good, he'll be good for Gotham, but I have to steer him down the right path. To get, the, to get there, he's so easy, he's too easy to be swayed by anyone with power regardless of the murky morality. I'm going to put the stuff over here, let's see. Let's keep reading. Hamilton Hill, Mayor of Gotham City. And Exhibit A is what's wrong with the Random city. Hill should have been thrown out of the office years ago, but he's got his hands wrapped around Gotham's government name, Death Grip. He's been suspected of numerous crimes, but there's never been enough to make any of it stick. He's got to the core, and one day, the city will realize it. Harvey's out there doing his best, and hopefully this upcoming election will be the end of the most corruption administration. Pat Burglar, crime burglary, pet loss. New criminal on the scene, tied to several recent break-ins. He's effective and doesn't leave any clues behind. Currently the scene, the GCPD has no idea, no leads. I wish I knew more about her. Oswald Cobblepot, a.k.a. Penguin. Crimes on stealing legal boxing matches. Receiving stolen property. He was a childhood friend, but he's almost a stranger to me now. Just like me, his family fell apart here in Gotham. He went off to a boarding school in England, and there a pastor burned. He seemed to have fallen into a life of crime. The last two decades gave me gave him a lengthy, lengthy rap sheet and a strange nickname, the Penguin. What happened to you? Find all your stuff on the street. Of the Oz, James Gordon, Lieutenant GCPD Mayor, Crime Unit, Associate Barbara Gordon, daughter. He's a good by the he's good by the book cop. He's a good by the book cop in a department that doesn't trust Batman. He was recently trapped to lead the mayor and crime task force and a pressing motion for he's doing everything he could do. Are doing everything. He's doing something, but right. I think Maybe he could be a truck baby and reliable sort of thing. But I don't need to call all the main police. His 
He's a friendly man, so he's not willing to take this I didn't realize this was still talking. With over 200 successful convictions, District Attorney Harvey Dent just might be the hero Gotham needs. But he can't save our city alone. He needs your help. He believes that together we can make a dent in okay. Gotham's crime. Chase, uh, but it starts with parents, you. People kill them. Vote for Chase, Harvey Dent and let the real crime fighter to Gotham's mayoral seat. I'm Harvey Dent, and I approve this message. Okay, I'm just gonna stop it. Talk about dirty politics. Let's go campaign. Let's find out what was so important. Damn, encrypted. Wayne Manor has seven bedrooms, two kitchens, a library, a gymnasium, a basketball court, and a movie theater. And yet I always find you here. In a dark, damp cave. In front of a okay. computer. I'll leave as soon as I finish. People with regular jobs can do their work anywhere, but for me, this is my office. I agree. It isn't normal work. Even worse, the best outcome is that no one ever finds out you've done it. Yeah, well, good deeds usually go unnoticed. Uh, though not unappreciated. Did you find out what that, um, cat woman tried to steal? Well, in the process. What are we looking at? Let me try a different angle. a map of the east side shoreline but it could mean any number of things money weapons drugs everything flows through that port maybe it's where mayor hill picks up his dry cleaning hmm. can't make sense of it yet there's still plenty of files to decrypt and in the meantime i saved you what i could Thanks, so. Al. Yeah, the same couldn't be said for the bar. I had to literally pry Mrs. Zeller back away. But you'll be pleased to hear everyone has left, including Mr. Falcone. Before the game switched from billiards to cutthroat, I'd recommend leaving the fist fights to your alter ego. Yeah, thanks for the interruption. <laughs> well, it wasn't for you, Bruce. I was worried I might drink all my good scotch. For the record, your father despised men like Falcone, thought they ruined Gotham's stellar reputation. Back when it still had one? It can again, Bruce. Though people like this Catwoman aren't helping. Is she new to town? I've never seen her before. Hopefully, she's just a tourist. No, I already checked the codex. Not much to find, apparently. A few burglaries, break-ins... Seems to lay pretty low. You could learn a thing or two from her. You can't step outside without it ending up in the news lately. Look, Pimmons her. Pimmons is not I stay out of sight. I don't like being compared to a common criminal. No, I think you're missing the point. You have to admit you've been drawing a lot of attention to yourself. And not the playboy billionaire buys new yacht kind of attention. I don't mean to beat a dead argument, but... No one's gonna figure it out now, trust me. Miss Vale noticed your injuries, so did Mr. Dent. If they put it together with the incident at the mayor's office, it would undo all the long nights and close calls we've endured to get here. You're in the spotlight more than ever. I've had to cover from mysterious injuries before. You've been lucky. Or I'm just a really good liar. A necessary evil in your line of work, I suppose. Though I hope you change careers someday. Ah, old men worry, that's all. It's our gift and our curse. 
One more worry for the list. I thought I saw Oz. It's been, what, 20 years? Last time I saw him, we were in grade school. Indeed. You two were thick as thieves. Oswald, however, took that role more literally than you. Dishonorable discharge, illegal boxing matches, arms dealing, prison stints? That's a criminal grand slam, if I'm using the expression correctly. Unfortunately, you are. Oswald claimed he only wanted to catch up, but his behavior following his family's collapse is troubling. Why he's returning now, I... I haven't the faintest idea. I think he just wants to reconnect. Criminal record or not, he's still an old friend. A lot can change over the years. If I remember correctly, Oswald was fond of the old firecrackers in the toilet trick. I worry what he's graduated to. Even though you and young Master Cobblepot used to be close, I'd advise you to be cautious. But I know you can't abandon a good mystery until it's solved. I'll be careful, Alfred. When you see what's become of his park, I think you will. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. <coughs> I think I'm gonna just change. Come on, I have more standards than that. I'm a mil I'm a billionaire. Pat and rich. Statue, but no Oz. Stay by statue. Let's talk to him. Hey, beat it. Watch Wallet Cash. But this goes through you. Hey, you heard him, man. The hell are you waiting for? I don't want to say. You're making a mistake. You already made one coming here. The next one kills you. And him. Gentlemen. Oz. Keep walking, all right? This don't concern you, twerp! You see, that's where you're mistaken. My old mate and I have some catching up to do. And you're oh. in the moment! Come here! Think that'll do! Oh. 
Bruce, you've got a little, uh... Yeah, good as new. Woo! That was the right little scrap, eh? Nothing kickstarts the system like a dash of adrenaline, eh? Oh, thanks for the backup. I yanked you away from your bloody ivory tower, Bruce. Least I can do is make sure you don't get shaped. Oh, that's very thoughtful of you. Yeah, it's been, what, two decades? And you know what? I haven't been mugged once that entire time. <laughs> uh, yeah, that wasn't why I brought you here, mate. Right now, I am trying to recognize the little Bruce I used to run around this place with. Back when it wasn't, you know, like this. This park used to mean something. A place that was safe for kids, for families. People came from all over to visit. It's a shame it's what shame. happened. It was beautiful once. And now, it's a hellhole. Last thing my parents ever built. <sighs> this city chews right through people. <sighs> Mum committed to Arkham. Dad ended it yourself, he did. My family's fortune. There's nothing left, Bruce. I know, Alfred told me. It's funny, huh? Same place that ground my family to dust. Gave you the good life. Used to run in the same circles we did. Hobnobbing parties, round the world vacations, unlimited potential. My parents are gone too, Oz. I know, Bruce, I know. I'm sorry for it. But I have my own funerals to attend. Good to know you haven't changed, Bruce. You still care about something more than just yourself. Although, I was surprised to see Carmine Falcone at your party last night. Made himself right at home! That oily... <sighs> Falcone was an uninvited guest. That's it. Never want to see his face again. On that, we can agree in earnest. Falcone made a stack of cash and corpses a mile high! ruining families like mine. All he needs is a little push. And... It'd be a treat to watch him in pavement. Fab. Sorry, mate. This reunion got a lot more grim than I planned. Things are gonna be on the upswing soon, though. A revolution is knocking on Gotham's door. And I'm here to let it in. Which brings me to you, Bruce. You see, you throw a rock in any direction, you break a window that Wayne Enterprises owns. As the rich and powerful go, oh, you top Gotham's list. But when my revolution starts, we're gonna smash windows and cross off names all the way down. Like I said, it's not gonna be pretty. It's gonna be beautiful. Are you threatening me, Oz? Take it as you like. I've got great affection for you, Bruce. What? I really do. Is he gonna? Which is why I'm warning you. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. Good seeing you, Bruce, but I got some rocks to collect. Cheers.
will be in the video. Do I be separate? Why not? Well, it, oh, nice. So it would be usually black, but whoa, that changed the color. Mr. Wayne, over here, right here. This way. Bruce, Bruce. Good morning, everyone. Morning, Mr. Dent. Hey, Bruce, you mind if we swap cars? Uh, I mean, mine isn't fast and the paint's rusting off, but boy, does she have charm. <laughs> uh, we didn't bring you all out here to discuss cars, honestly. <sighs> now, we're here about Arkham Asylum. Ever since it opened its doors, Arkham has been a breeding ground for the criminally insane. Its methods for rehabilitation, crude. Its security, lacking. And worse still, those who do get out, or God forbid escape, are even more dangerous than before they went in. Arkham Asylum is a cancer on Gotham. <clears throat> but today, with a sizable contribution from this man here, we break ground on a state-of-the-art mental health care facility. One that will improve the well-being of Gotham and its citizens for years to come. And Mr. Wayne has a few words he'd like to say. Bruce? My parents loved Gotham. They invested their blood, sweat, and tears in this city. <sighs> you know, when I was uh, nine years old, my parents took me to see a movie about a hero in a mask. It was a hero who stood up to oppression and defended the people from injustice, no matter the cost. That night, my parents paid the ultimate cost defending me from a man <clears throat> who needed the kind of help this new facility will provide. With this facility and our next mayor, we okay. create a new face for Gotham. Today, on the anniversary of that this. fateful night, we dedicate this facility to Thomas and Martha Wayne and usher in a new era of healing for Gotham. I'm uh, sure you all have plenty of questions about the new hospital, so let's open it up. You first, Miss Vale. Thank you. With the opening of this new hospital, what does this mean for Arkham Asylum? What happens to the old building? I think Arkham has only done harm to Gotham. It's made criminals more unstable, put our citizens in jeopardy. We can do better. Are we All right, who's up next? Oh, Mr. Wayne. Uh, you there. Mr. Wayne, Julia Remark of the Tribune. My sources say you welcomed alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone into your home. You even shook his hand. I don't make friends with gangsters. He was an unwelcome guest. That's all. Next question, please. Please keep your questions on topic, people. We're here about the hospital, remember? Uh, but Mr. Wayne, this morning the Globe received evidence of an offshore bank account managed by Carmine Falcone and your father, Thomas Wayne. What exactly are you implying? Transactions connected to organized crime going back years and continuing to this day. The paper trail ties your family directly to the mob. Care to comment? And did anyone else receive this evidence? The Globe, the Gazette, we all did. Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne, is all your money dirty? Is the Wayne family legacy built on lies? Did you know about this, Bruce? How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? What are you telling us? My parents were entrepreneurs, philanthropists, not common criminals. It's absurd. Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne! How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? Did you know about this, Bruce? What are you telling us? I'm sorry about this, Bruce. I don't know where the hell it's coming from. Damage controls my territory. We'll talk later. Everyone, everyone, please settle down. 
I'll be fielding your questions from here on out. Please, let's try to keep this civilized. Bruce, I've been trying to reach you. The police are inside the manor. Hey, hey, careful! Put it back. I'm afraid we can't, Mr. Wayne. Says who? This warrant. It's not personal. I had the boys turn the lights off, keep a low profile. I'm sorry, are you arresting me? Not unless I'm forced to. We're only collecting evidence today. I didn't do anything. That's what we're here to find out. Alfred, keep an eye on them. Make sure they only take what they have to. Of course, sir. I meant what I said about not personal. We only want files related to Wayne Enterprises. The warrant covers your place, pardon me, places of residence, and any companies you own. And if I refuse? Well, then we might have to make a scene. That's the last thing I want. But orders are orders, and this one comes from the top. It's a valid warrant. I gotta serve it. Mayor Hill signed off on this himself. No. As long as he's mayor, he calls the shots. Well, Hill has a history of making his opposition... disappear. Rumors and allegations, Mr. Wayne, that's all. But if they become fact, I'll handcuff him myself, same as any other crook. I don't know how your neck ended up on Mayor Hill's shopping block, but here we are. Hill knows if I go down, Harvey's campaign goes down too. That'd be a real shame. Mr. Dent's the only DA I ever trusted to make a conviction stick. As mayor, I think he can finally turn things around for us. For all our sakes, I pray you've got nothing to hide. Bruce? I, I didn't mean to interrupt, but... Uh, it's... It's not a problem, really. Ah, <sighs> Bruce. First the mayor's office, now Wayne Manor. <laughs> Gotham continues its streak of break-ins. <laughs> really going for the record, huh? Listen, Bruce. A scandal surrounding a beloved family like yours captures the public's attention. I can help you get the right kind of attention. Through my connections at the Gazette, I have all kinds of access. What's your angle? Not all reporters just want a headline. Some of us are old-fashioned. I still want the truth. The Gazette received this supposed evidence like every other media outlet. And it's all hearsay. Flimsy sources. There isn't a shred of hard proof. Still, allegations like this, they, they, they don't magically appear. Someone is going after my family. After me. Obviously, the sender didn't identify themselves. We have no idea who it could be. I mean, no one's even done their due diligence on this yet. The press saw the fumble, they grabbed the ball, and ran. Carmine Falcone wants me to be in his pocket. He crashed Harvey's fundraiser and pretty much said, hop in. Well, maybe he thinks putting a little fear in you will make you jump. It won't. By tonight, this scandal will be broadcast to every screen in Gotham. Everyone will be talking about it. This isn't my first pass through the rumor mill. I know the damage it can do. Then go on the record. Right here, right now, and stop it. 
You need to get out ahead of this. Your side is what matters, I guess so. not wild speculation. On the record, then. Whenever you're ready. Whoever fabricated these lies about my family, they will get what they deserve. Understood? That's exactly what the people of Gotham need to hear. You're gonna beat this, Bruce. The Waynes always come out on top. I'm gonna do episode one. Goodbye, Miss Ray. I hate to admit it, but everyone smells smoke. A fire is heading this way. Batman has made plenty of enemies, but my family. We've done nothing but support Gotham, even in its darkest days. All this. On the anniversary of your parents? It's not a coincidence. Harvey's the district attorney. He should have told me this was coming. Then find out why he didn't. The sixth wow. Okay, so six chapters in episode one. And each of them is six, so we're not finishing this, I guess you could say, but we could try our best to get as much done as possible. I mean what time is it? Or twelve or nine, so a warrant? What the hell's going on? Wait, does this have to do with what the reporters were talking about this morning? I'm in a lot of trouble, Harvey. And I need your help to get me out of it. Yes, of course. Of course, whatever I can do. Mayor Hill authorized this? Yeah. Then the cops raid my house, taking everything related to Wayne Enterprises. Computers, hard drives, files. Oh, son of a bitch. You're the goddamn DA, Harvey. I didn't know about this. I swear. Hill totally blindsided me on this one. God damn it. <sighs> okay, I, I believe you, Harvey. Mayor Hill's trying to screw us both over with this move. And then he's made two enemies. I just don't get it. Why would Hill stick his neck out over this? Just to tangle you up in some frivolous investigation? That just doesn't make sense. I mean, what could he possibly hope to accomplish other than a few cheap Falcone. headlines? Do you think Falcone could be behind it? He didn't seem too thrilled after the fundraiser. Oh, God, what a mess. Bruce, I wish I could just make this. Let's go away, but I'm not sure if I can. If I get in the way of this investigation, Hill would be able to spin it as a conflict of interest. And that wouldn't be good for either of us. It would jeopardize the entire campaign. We need to fight back. Hill cannot get away with this. It may not be a war we can win. The city will be behind you, Harvey, just like I am. There you are. Hey, you. Sorry. I got a habit of being late. No, no. Just glad you made it. Tell me you were Wait. bringing a friend to dinner. This is Selena. I hope I'm not interrupting anything. I'm Bruce Wayne. So you are. Pleasure to meet you, Miss... Kyle. It's a strong grip you've got there. Don't worry. I'm not gonna fall. Oh, right. Sorry. Selena's new to town. I've been showing her around Gotham, introducing her to people. You're an excellent tour guide, Harv. Well, if I lose the election, I guess I can drive one of those double-decker tour buses around town. 
How'd you get that shiner? Bruce? It's okay. Money doesn't buy manners, right? I was mugged. I'm just angry I let that masked freak get away with all my stuff. I still can't believe I let you walk home alone. I should have called you a car. Did you at least get a look at the guy? Good enough to make an ID. Well, I'll get Gordon down to GCPD to work on a lineup. It's probably long gone by now. Whatever that idiot took. I hope not. These were important materials. Oh, sensitive? Very. I don't know how I'm gonna explain this to my client. When things like this happen in my line of work, people tend to overreact. We should just be thankful you got away with a black eye. So, what do you do for a living? It's complicated. High risk, high reward. Ah, stock market, huh? <laughs> Something like that. At least I'm not the only one who's taken a beating. That press conference? Oof. We've got it under control. Do you? I'll handle it. Someone at my office has to know what's going on. Uh, excuse me a moment. Hey, it's Harvey. Nice to meet the real you. In case you're getting any ideas, no one would believe you. <laughs> right. This explains a lot, actually. How you can afford the fancy armor, the toys. <laughs> Wouldn't Harvey be surprised? <laughs> Not to mention, everyone in this cafe. Sorry about the black eye. It's not the first time a man's hit me. Sorry to hear that. Don't worry. I'm not gonna expose you. Yet. I'm curious about something, though. I do what I do for money, but you're... Bruce Wayne. What's your excuse? I have to. But you... Someone has to be the good guy. I suppose you think that makes me a bad girl? Well, aren't you? You have something that belongs to me. I want it back. This is awkward for me. As I recall, you took something from me, too. Hope you're getting some use out of that grappling gun. I'm more interested in how I can use you. These people I'm working for, they don't screw around. If I fail to deliver that drive, it's gonna cost a lot more than money. Well, looks like you've made your bed. No, we've made this bed. And I'm not gonna lie in it alone. You owe me. If they don't get what they want, there will be consequences. Oh, you don't need my help. You seem pretty capable of handling this yourself. Oh, I intend to. Just give me back the drive and I'll be on my merry little way. Yeah, I'd rather not. Listen, I don't have a lot of time. My employer is expecting me to drop it off. Where? Just give it back. The address. Now. No. Give me the drive. You are really starting to piss me off. Oh, there you are. I was hoping you'd come out and play. Write it down. Now. My contact. He'll be expecting a cat. Not a bat. When are you supposed to meet him? Fifteen minutes ago. You cat woman. Better hurry. Everything okay here? You tell me. I have my people working on it. We're gonna straighten everything out. I feel better already. Sorry, but I've gotta run. So soon? Aren't you gonna stay for a drink? Yeah, Bruce. Stay for a drink? <laughs> I'd love to, but I've got another appointment and I really don't want to be late for it. Oh, all right then. Don't forget to change into your suit.
Alfred. A metal warehouse. No sign of Catwoman's contact. It's quiet. The sound of an ambush. Stay on guard.